And yeah, today our topic is still about Apple event. And the topic is iPhone Pro 12 LiDAR, Apple LiDAR will be a game changer for AR. That's super, super mind blowing in my in my in my view they they use they employ lidar in iPhone in iPhone that's uh, kind of pretty cool because as you may know AR already this technology already existed already been existed for a few years and there was a lot of hype around that and people talk about AR will be next big things but it still didn't happen it didn't happen and in fact there are very very few really few games they are they really leverage AR technology most of them just uh, use it as a marketing gimmick but the reason is because the technology for AR is just not it's just not um, mature enough it just couldn't create the immersive enough environment for for you for the user then now we fly that I believe uh, they will at least now the developer have one more dimension and they can use lidar to do a lot of things because we fly that fly the the AI should be able to catch the rear the physical environment much more accurately and that's a super important to building the 3d module to build a thing to make the thing look more real yeah the, re the reason now like ai is not good enough is just because it's not accurate enough and sometimes you you see that it building not something virtual things on top of your environment your physical environment but after you move around it the thing just uh, breaks it, doesn't provide you very very 360 user experience that's the one of the reasons that people don't use AR that often and another reason definitely is because the technology is not there so it's not good enough so uh, developers are limited their tool sets their toolkits just limited and now I believe with this LiDAR then they will be able to come out with more interesting applications especially for interactions wise and like you probably have seen that the one day apple demo in their event it looks pretty cool they the things they built with lidar and uh, maybe this will be a game changer i think it's because technology is like this you always, we always have hype first. Then people have very, very a very, very high expectation to the technology. Then after a certain point, people, the technology just under the de under deliver. Then people got disappointed, I, and have lower lower their expectation, and will hit a like uh, a a red button. Then after the technology getting mature and m more mature, then it started to really deliver something I think uh, AR technology is on this point is like bouncing on the bouncing point a turning point which will really start to deliver more things they e previously promised but definitely that's a good thing and more and more applications are coming I believe and still still they are we are still Lacking something, some very interesting games. They will allow AR become our day-to-day uh, -day life. And I don't see AR will, in terms of AR gaming, it will be a only component for AR game. I think AR technology will be a supporting tech components for a broader game experience. Maybe. Uh, it's just a one sub component of a very interesting game but it will not be like the entire game only focus on AR I don't think that happen I don't see that happen yeah
I think it's more like it will be the maybe thirty percent of the games they will people will spend on AR, and rest of games will still be uh, like process in the phone screen, the the normal the normal three D or two D environment. So that's my view on AR, my imagination. I really I'm really excited about how people and what people will do with LiDAR and AR. So let's wait and see. And um, yeah, by the way, if you would like to receive more analysis like this, um, don't forget to subscribe. I basically release videos uh, every day. So yes, I'll see you next time.